Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this is for my Libras. <clears throat> so if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, something in this motherfucker is for you. So far we got the Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Cups in Reverse, Two of Wands, Nine of Swords. So this is feeling very relationshipy already. But I'll clarify these cards and see what else is going on. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. throat. So first you have the Three of Wands clarified by the Hermit. So this is telling you, Spirit wants you to really think about what you want long term. Not what do people think you should have, not do how do you maintain what you currently have, but what do you actually want? That's going to be your title actually. Nine of Cups clarified by the Nine of Swords in reverse. What you want is this super fulfilling relationship where you feel safe, you feel considered, you feel loved and supported, kind of things like that. So Spirit's asking you to really sit down and analyze, are you getting this from your current romantic relationship? For most of you, the answer is no. Ten of Wands in reverse clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. You're getting like provided for in some ways enough to have made you stay and not really think about it that much but if you were to really sit down and think about it ten of cups reverse clarified by the three of wands you're really not happy in this relationship you just are comfortable because it's already there it's like you just feel like dealing with whatever you're missing emotionally within this relationship is easier than having to start over with somebody else two of wands in reverse clarified by the five of cups in reverse it's like you guys really don't have a lot of conflict or anything in the relationship either so it's feeling very mad just in the middle it's like a five on a scale of one to ten so it's not terrible so you don't have a lot of like red flags you feel but it's not great either Nine of Swords, clarified by the Five of Swords. So this is going to make you think and ask your person more questions about like, well, what do they want? Are they having doubts or anything like that? And you're going to find out that they do feel very similar to what I'm saying here also. And that's going to bring about a little conflict because you're going to feel like, why didn't you say something earlier? But really things were supposed to unfold this way. <clears throat> it's to get you to pay more attention. What are some affirmations that will help? My love is big enough to hold space for both of us. I am guided and I am a conqueror. So my love is big enough to hold space for both of us. It's just a reminder that love is not enough. The love is there in the relationship, a form of love, the best form that you guys can give each other at this time. But all those other things have to be in place, too, for you to have a happy relationship. Like, how does that love manifest? And is it in a way that you can constantly feel and be sure of? That's something to think about. And then I am guided and I am a conqueror. No matter what the result of this is going to be, your spirit team has your back. And they're leading you to get more into alignment with who you're supposed to be. So try not to resist whatever happens. I mean, it's going to happen anyway, but it'll be easier if you don't resist it. And it'll go by faster. And you'll get to the good stuff faster if you don't resist it. So your word of the week is abundance. Spirit is saying that even if this romantic relationship just doesn't work out and you find yourself lonely, to so remember that you still are rich in community. There's other relationships that can be very fulfilling that you can foster. Like you have a really good friend right now that you can get to know better that will really help you through this and just through life in general that you don't really see because you're more focused on like just posting through this romantic relationship we'll leave off what are some crystals that'll help black tourmaline black obsidian 
and rotocross it or however the fuck you say that. Honestly, I don't know. But these are both going to help you with the anxiety that's going to come with thinking about addressing this and then dealing with whatever their reaction is to you guys talking. And then whatever your reaction is to their reaction. There is going to be some lower vibrations that like get dredged up. So these two will help absorb that negative energy so it doesn't get into your body. Or it'll take it from your body so that it's not festering. And then this is going to help you heal some emotional wounds. So essentially to get over a heartache because even if you guys stay together it's still the death of how the relationship previously was so there will still be some heartache involved but that's what i have for you guys today if anything resonated please like comment share and subscribe to the channel definitely appreciate the engagement and if you have any questions about this or something else you can book a personal reading with me through the link in the description box all right y'all peace